you're going to hear me mention Steridon more than once in this review, and there's a reason for that. Black Paradox takes a lot of elements from that game. It's not entirely derivative, and it certainly adds its own style and panache to the formula, but unfortunately it doesn't improve on anything gameplay-wise, and falls well short in any inevitable comparison. From the second you start Black Paradox, you know that you are in for a well-produced and stylish experience. The pixel art visuals go hand in hand with cracking tunes and annoying 80s theme to give a funky retro vibe that instantly grabs your attention and makes you want to love the game. After a quick introduction, you zip off into the cosmos in your flying DeLorean to hunt down a bunch of nefarious criminals across a series of randomly generated stages. And here for me is where the problems start. I'm personally not the biggest fan of randomly generated anything in games, but Steridon is one game that absolutely gets this right. Black Paradox is not. Enemies come in in the same few sets of waves, but which ones you get can have far too big an effect on your game. Sometimes you can cruise through a stage with your standard shot without ever needing to dodge. Sometimes projectiles and ships come so thick and fast you can barely return fire. Now Steridon also had random waves, but in that game it felt far more like they were coming in well-designed patterns. I know nothing about programming, but I imagine there was some algorithm trying to make the stages consistent in terms of difficulty. In Black Paradox there appears to be no such thing. All this is further compounded by the pickup system, also unfortunately random. Each stage provides the opportunity to pick up a new weapon and, after defeating the boss, a power-up that continues to the end of your run. If you get the right ones, you can, again, pretty much sit there in cruise control. Get the wrong ones and you're not just out of luck, you're potentially out of fun as well as you are forced to endure the game with an irritating to wield weapon. Even more extreme are the health and special attack limit pickups. Sometimes these will appear in such abundance you can't help but sit constantly fully fueled. Other times they are nowhere to be found, and despite putting in a solid performance through a stage, you're left weakened upon arrival at the boss when previous time out you'd arrived at the same stage in full health despite having had a nightmare through the meat of the stage. Bosses, by the way, while looking pretty cool, almost all engage in similar sorts of attacks many of which feel very unfair and can be borderline undodgeable. And while they're not terrible, they certainly aren't any sort of highlight. Now in most of my reviews, I like to look quite closely at the mechanics and scoring systems, but in Black Paradox there's just not that much to look at. You hold down shoot and you dodge the bullets, and how well you do is based mainly around two other things. Number one, what you pick up during each stage, and number two, how leveled up your ship is. In other words, how much time you have spent playing the game. You have a special attack that can be used by building up a meter, and two shots which can be switched between at will. As mentioned, however, these random shot pickups have far too big an effect. Pick up the homing missiles, for example, and essentially you are laughing to the end of the stage as you sit back and destroy enemies, often before they've even made it on screen. Pick up something like the darts and you are facing a massive struggle just to survive. There are also end of stage pickups but again these vary far too greatly. Get yourself a nice drone and again you're laughing. Sometimes however you're faced with two options either of which will barely have any discernible effect at all. Contrast all this to Steridon where pickups while random came more often giving the player more opportunity to adjust their loadout to their own personal tastes and mitigating the arrival of any bad weapons. Add to all of the above the floaty on ice movement of your DeLorean and the often hard to parse chaos of bullets, drones, enemies and asteroids and you have a game that rewards skill far less than it does perseverance and sheer bloody mindedness. The key to progression lies in fact not in improving your own skill or knowledge but instead in using the cash you've earned in game to buy upgrades. These can be stat boosts, or percentage chances of firing an extra missile, or replenishing health. With enough of these, previously unreachable stages become very doable. However, they also make the earlier stages brain-numbingly easy. I'm leveled up to such an extent now, I don't even have to move when facing the first boss, 
I can literally sit in the center of the screen and hold down fire, and I will win. If this sounds a little like the progression often found in mobile games, it might be because this was originally a mobile game. It's really frustrating and it's a trend that I sincerely hope to see die out in console releases. There is fun to be had with Black Paradox. It's stylish, with a funky soundtrack and a lot of character, but the substance just isn't there. At times it rips off Steridon so blatantly it's surprising the developers of that game haven't made more of a fuss. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have learned anything from that game's far superior implementation of, well, pretty much everything. Black Paradox is a clear case of style over substance, and while it can be fun to play and the levelling up does keep drawing you back, it's hard to recommend when such a clearly superior game exists at a similar price point. I'm talking about Steridon, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. The cool soundtrack and the spiffy coat of paint unfortunately can't stop Black Paradox scoring a fairly mediocre 6 out of 10. As ever, let me know if you have played this one. While I didn't rate it very highly in terms of quality, I did end up putting quite a lot of time into it, and I'll continue playing, so it obviously has some appeal, and I can imagine, in a similar vein to my most loathed shmup on Switch, Skyforce Reloaded, it may well find its fans. Anyway. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.